Hi everybody, this is Debbie. Uh, welcome to my Deb's Thing channel. Today I'm going to be doing this design. Uh, I do believe it it's one of my early designs and this was my original concept and it's still the same. I just uh, didn't do the alternating colors. It was referred to um, as design number 4V in my um, my introduction to my original designs part two it's like the second video I I published on Instagram and I overlooked it for a while because I just like eh, it doesn't look like much but when I did these two I just totally fell in love with it I think it's uh, got a lot of interest in the in the way the bands go and last night I this one and I just love the colors. So anyhow, this is what she looks like. We've got four bars across parallel. And I am going to use this as a reference because that's what I have on my notes. Color A, which is the gray border. I am going to be using, what am I going to use? I think I'm going to use, I'm just using my, um, for the demonstration, I'm just going to do a short uh, band. And I'm just using colors that I have a lot of. So um, it's probably not going to look anything spectacular, but uh, I decided it's too much brain work to try to come up with an awesome color design on camera. I've already got three nice design color designs um, already made. So for color A, I'm going to be using the Jelly uh, jelly Rose Violet, I believe it's called. Color B, which are the, is the black and white up the middle. I am using the Navy Blue Jelly. And um, for these bands on the side, I love the jellies. I've, see, I've used, I've used, well, what colors is the mango, which is supposed to be all baked, but it to me it feels like a jelly. The navy blue jelly here, and here I use the uh, I don't I think these were the glow in the dark, either glow in the dark or the um solar blue. I forget which one, I guess I could try the light and find out, but um, I liked using those. And these I just used opaque bands for the border. This one I used the um glitter. I mean the Sweets Burgundy, which is one of my absolute favorite bands, as is the Octopus Dual Layer. So I really love the Dual Layer up the middle. It takes a little bit of tweaking when you're done to get them all in right order. This one I used a glitter, a glitter green. I forget which where it came from. It might have been from the Tutti Fruity mix, the Fruity Tutti Tutti Fruity. I don't know. So, anyways. Let's keep going. Oops. And then color C is the red, and I'm going to be using jelly yellow. So just three basic colors. So let's get going. This is a pretty simple design, and I should mention this. I forget sometimes. I forgot to do it on my most recent um, publication which was Ocean Breeze. Thank you Rainbow Loom for featuring it on Instagram. Yay! I love it when that happens. It's so cool. But um, that design as well as this, um, the bands are kind of loose cause probably because of all the stretching and it de definitely takes a day or two to um, kind of tighten back up. It, this one did it overnight. I don't know if it's because we are in a little bit of a drier region, so they, they shrink back to size um, more quickly. But if it looks a little discombobulated when um, you pull it off the loom, just give it a day or two and it will look lovely. Okay, so we are going to start with color A. What did I say is going to be the, yeah, the, the pink. So I'm going to do two right here. This is for my closing bands later on. And one band each direction. And then we're just going to go up the 
side and do your standard border, which I do not do very often. But here I'm doing it because well, sometimes it is the best choice, right? Since I started, I, I all my design, most of my designs, I avoided using the standard border because that seemed to be what everybody was doing, and I just like I don't know. I always like to be a little on the left side of things when it came to creativity. I'm kind of more of a right wing politically, which I guess we all have to pick some one side. So I lean a little more to conservativeness in my. Um, that type of thing, but when it comes to creativity, I like to kind of go off the edge there and not do traditional. Okay, so that's the first side, and then we'll do the same up the second side, or the other side. There's only two sides, left and right. <laughs> yeah, I really, really, when um, I decided to see what this would look like when I did it again, I think. Yeah, this was the first one, and I just loved it. I loved the, the dark blue against the, the sparkly green, and I think the um, neon orange doesn't very look very neon, but I believe that's the color because it's not the mango because the mango's in the other one. This is the mango, which is much brighter, but I, I just love this, and I did this one right after it, and just fell in love with it. It's a simple design, but... I, I, know, I just love it. You have to make it and take a look at how the bands are, the design pattern the bands make, and I just like it. Hopefully, when I post it on um, the thumbnail on YouTube, and I've been spending a couple hours taking photographs, I don't know why it takes me so much effort to get a nice clear shot, but I've got a clear shot of those three that I've shown you. And hopefully I can get it nice and zoomed in, nice close-up image on Instagram so that you can see what I mean. Okay, so we've got all the A-bands placed like that. And now we are going to do the B-colored bands, which I said are going to be the dark blue. And you're simply going to do straight up rows two. Or columns two and column three, just a single row of bands. Each of these columns. So rows go this way, columns go this way. If any of you took math, you will know that that is the appropriate. Um, names for each position. Okay, went off camera a little bit, but it looks like that. Such a small working space when you have the camera zoomed in so you can see as close as possible. I can't really zoom any further or else I would have like a postage stamp size workspace. Right now it's about five and a half inches by five and a half. It doesn't quite look six, but it doesn't look as short as five. So I'm guessing five and a half. I'm pretty good at estimating distances, but I don't have a rule on me right now to pat myself on the back for being so accurate. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Now, I need to apologize because um, in the first segment I tried to get all the bands um, placed and I totally messed up so if it cuts off and then just jumps to you know it'll cut off and jump to this um, segment because I messed up placing the yellow bands or band C so um, so I don't have to take all the bands off the band A's or the border and I just went look like this all the way up and then here color B's were just single chain straight up the middle so now we will start with color C uh, 
we will start by doing the angle first from the middle pins on each side out to the outer and then we will do a straight up the center two rows, uh, columns two and three and they will be going from column two to column one column three to column four then straight up column two straight up column three and we will be doing this all the way up the loom very simple I think you will realize what I'm talking about uh, about the interesting pattern and design the bands make after they're loomed and you see how I've just, I chose to um, loop these back and for Kim at, um, at Love and Looms I think is that how you do it? Love and Looms um, I am so sorry <laughs> on was it All Hearts um, I think it was you oh my gosh my memory is so sketchy, but that's what pops into my head. Um, you were making my all heart bracelet, and I had my dog Cider came in, our dog Cider came in, and he did one of those very loud, kind of high pitched brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Yes, I should complain about the fact that it's very hot in here. I have my fan on low and hopefully it's not too loud and distorting, you know, sounding distorted on my tutorial in the background. It's really not doing any very much good, but it's getting some air moving, right? It's better than nothing. Yeah, our electrical system only has 35 amps coming to it, and for those of you who know about electricity, that is archaic, at least here in Orange County, California. And so we really can't have too much air conditioning going on in here, but we really don't need it either. Uh, it's, as my last design, Ocean Breeze, indicates there's a nice ocean breeze, just not on this side of the house, as you all know. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to do this side. And definitely feel free to fast forward to this, those of you who don't need to watch me do this all the way up the room, but I'm staying on camera because it's going so quickly. Yeah, I definitely like the idea of just using my basic bands, color bands that I have a lot of for demonstration because then I don't have to sit there for two hours deciding what colors do I like this color combination. I can just spend so much time. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I haven't slept much. I forgot to take, I have to take certain like nervous system relaxing medications before I go to bed. I can't take the hypnotic sleep meds because they don't work. And I totally wound up all night long. And like, why am I so wide awake? It's 6.30 in the morning. And it dawned on me finally that I hadn't taken my medication. So somewhere around 7 a.m. I took them and got a few hours sleep, but had to get up. So, oh my gosh, here I go again. I'm so sorry. I don't have to make you guys yawn too. I am quite sleep deprived, but I'm trying to push myself to get tutorials done because I do not get enough done. Okay, we're done with that. So the next thing, very simple. I mean, this is an easy design. That was the only hard part. You might want to push all these down a little bit because you will need a little bit of space to do the border bands. But right now, we are just going to crisscross the B bands all the way up the loom. Super simple. There's nothing really to fight with. You just go down there. There's only one band to grab. So it's really easy. And I would just say, you know, it doesn't really matter which one you start on, just, you know, go left to right, left to right, left to right, right to left, right to left, right to left. So whatever way you start, just keep doing that rhythm. Or else you won't have this, this nice um, new pattern. They all go this way. All the ones going towards the left are on top. I did yawn. <laughs> I did not yawn again. I promise. I really no, I'm lying. I did yawn. I tried to keep it quiet so I don't start a worldwide yawning chain of yawns. You know how it is. You see someone yawn and you're not even tired and you yawn. I don't know why we do that. It doesn't happen. It's not like coughing. I mean I cough, it doesn't it's not gonna make anybody else cough, but for some reason if I yawn, it starts a chain reaction, right? All right, the last thing we have to do, whoops, is do the border bands. And there are a few, you know, a few of the yellow bands there, but you reach down, and the only thing to 
see and to grab is your A color. And I think it's going to look nice with the um, yellow and the pink kind of together, giving a little bit of an orange cast, you know, because they're jelly, so they're a little transparent. So I think that'll add a little bit of dimension to the color scheme. We will see. So I got to get off camera and decide. Okay, so you're just going to do one there because we're going to be pulling these out for the cap in a few minutes. So I have to find a cap uh, clip. Ho, ho, ho. Sorry, everybody. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe I'll call it Design Yawn. <laughs> no, I'm not. But maybe... Oh, I know. Oh, I think I know. I think I know. I think I know. I think I know. I'll have to check, make sure it hasn't been used. Yes. One of the names I have in my um, little notebook where I sketch out designs and keep track of people and my big list of designs of other people's that I'm going to do someday. And um, I have a few pages of names that I want to use. So since I'm so sleepy, I can't stop yawning. A name that I really liked because I finally, after all these years, watched um, the Gilmore Girls. Uh, I had a girlfriend who she never had a TV at home, so she just like rented or purchased, um, you know, DVDs of shows and stuff. And her and her daughters watched the Gilmore Girls. And so that was years and years ago, and I decided to take a look at it, and I really liked it. And they lived in Connecticut, my home state. Yay, go Connecticut. I love Connecticut. It's so beautiful. Lovely, lovely state. And they lived in a fictional town called Sleepy Hollow. So maybe I'm going to go with that Sleepy Hollow. Just because I'm yawning. So dark. Oh my god, I can't stop it. Okay. So we're going to pull those two ends out like that. a clip. I always like to secure it because I don't know how many times I've tried to keep it on the hook and take it off and it falls off the hook and and once those pin those these bands start unraveling you just can't weave them back together it's, it's a goner. So I like to be safe and get my design comes off really easy too. Oh, I love the way the blue, uh, the yellow, and the pink look on in my screen. So anyway, see, it doesn't really look, it doesn't, you know, it's not nice and tight. And all these bands lined up, it's kind of loosey-goosey. But, um, and then these bands stick out a little bit, but rest assured, it does come together, it tightens up overnight. And that's what the other side looks like, which I guess is okay, but yeah, I definitely love this side better. So anyhow, this is possibly Sleepy Hollow, I don't know, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Cute little design, and as I said, look at the difference. You can see how you can kind of see through the blue bands, and it doesn't, you can't really see how tight it is. But um, overnight, it will tighten up. Okay? Trust me, people. Trust me. I've got three designs to prove that it starts out, comes off like this, and then it tightens up into the most beautiful, cute little design. And just the way, especially these um, the C color bands, because the way I placed them and then loomed them back, looks really, really, I think, interesting. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Deb's Thing, if you like my designs. And um, 
also check me out on Instagram at Deb's Thing, where you can see all my designs all the way back to when I started a little over a year ago. God bless you, and thank you kindly for watching. Good night.